Uh, that's right. Huge Aiden Ross drama, which is a phrase that kind of goes together like moist moguls in winning or religious leaders in being really creepy towards children. However, I did decide this would be the final video I make on Aiden Ross, barring some crazy shit happen. Cap. Yeah, there you it's go. Kind of like uh, Andrew Tate. I made a bunch of videos about Andrew Tate. Don't give a shit anymore. All right, unless he murders a man in cold blood, I don't care what that man's up to. I feel like I've spoken my piece. I don't have anything more to say. Same with Logan Paul. Unless he makes a crypto zoo too, which would be an insane development, I don't think I'm going to make a video about the guy anymore. And Aiden Ross has now joined that camp. But I will leave with one final farewell to Kick's number one streamer, at least according to stream charts over the past week. Uh, and that is some recent drama he got in, specifically with copyright claims. Uh, and and uh, the claim is that he's been doing false copyright claims on a bunch of creators. Uh, and here is the video that kind of leaked it all. This is him pretending to come because he copyright claimed someone. And then they tweeted out, I just lost $8,000 from Aiden Ross copyright, false copyright claiming my video about the Penguin Zero Moist Critical versus Nico situation. W. Chat, by the way, this is um, Hassan's hey, moderator chat. Put a W in the chat. We stole eight thousand dollars from him. W. He needed that. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. W. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. The same Discord, by the way, where he found his sister's porn. I don't know why he's still scrolling through that shit. That Discord's that's a that's a harrowing place. That'd be a battlefield I never enter again. Okay, this is a weird story, but I was doing the yard a month ago, and Aiden, one of my friends, told me that his dad told him that you could buy government. What the fuck? Because it's a generally. Anyway, let's talk. <laughs> That's dark. Anyway, public.com slash mogul mail. Anyway, let's talk about copyright claims and how they can happen. Because it's a generally easy process from YouTube, which means there's lots of false copyright claims. And every creator that you watch at one point or another has bitched about false copyright claims. Also probably complained about demonetization or the litany of other issues that exist with YouTube. And I will say to YouTube's credit, this system is great because it takes what was formerly a very long and drawn out legal process and expedites it. But it still is at its core initiating a legal process of sorts. It's just trying to do it very quickly through YouTube system rather than going to courts to deal with who owns the copyright for what. And for the most part, it does a decent job at ensuring uh, um, a copyright holder. Not a single mention of you yet. I mean, don't look forward to holders, it. Holders uh, uh, keeping their, their copyright this man is right -wing. material. Uh, to themselves, right? Plus, so, it doesn't so even matter. Music I don't labels, really give a that's shit. part of the reason why they haven't shut down YouTube as a whole, like they would uh, Napster in 2002, is because this system exists. Uh, and basically, it'll show you uh, any video that matches your own content. It's not the... Yeah, the saga is over, and little bro is still... The little bro is making a video right now. The saga is over already greatest system on earth as you guys can see it literally has dreams face reveal video as one of my videos because i reacted to it before it was uploaded onto dreams youtube because he premiered it so it considers it my video and it matches it even though that obviously isn't the case that also happened because i've watched a bunch of mr beast videos on my channel so when they get translated into a different language well, I watched the English version. It matches everything the English version has. Ludwig, that's your video. I could claim it. Now, obviously, I wouldn't do that because it's a false copyright claim and I would easily lose that battle. But that doesn't mean that there aren't bad actors in the scene who do that all the time, who have the ability to claim things that might be a small percentage, that might be a fair use situation, and they claim it as if it was outright theft and take all the proceeds from it. And the system allows you to do that. There is an article about how there's billions of dollars in false copyright claims every single year. And Aiden Ross seems to be going down that trend. But it's even a little bit more nefarious than that because he's not just false copyright claiming everyone who's using his video. He's only false copyright claiming people who he considers his ops. Here's the clip of Aiden admitting that on stream while talking to one of his friends. Uh, this is a song reacting. Yeah, bro. Like, there's no on, way yeah. he's this stupid. But listen, I, 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 he's supposed to only go for the ops. 
So that's Aiden admitting on stream that he's only going for ops, his opposition, the people who are out to get him. I don't know. I think he thinks there's like a cabal of people who wanted him off of Twitch that got him off of Twitch. But basically people he doesn't fuck with. Now look. Yeah. The the cabal of people is just Aiden Ross. <laughs> the only person responsible for Aiden Ross being banned off Twitch is Aiden Ross, by the way. That's what's so hilarious about this is like, dog, if anything, I tried to stop him from getting banned like as best as i can you know what i mean like i i i, I tried to help him out a lot originally Aiden Ross is not the one doing these copyright claims. It's done by a company called Thumb Media, and they're doing it on Aiden's behalf. And he's the one who directed that company to target people he doesn't like to copyright claim all of their videos that includes any of Aiden's streams or, or videos or assets. Uh, and, and it's not always up to snuff. It's not always something that would legally pass as a good copyright claim, a good exercise of your own copyright. Look, I'm fully okay with people claiming their own videos. I personally don't care. I've never claimed anybody for copyright. Occasionally, I've asked people who use or edit a lot of my streams to stop or maybe outright hire them, but I've never claimed them through YouTube's system because I think the system's pretty shit altogether. But I'm cool when people do it. For example, CGP Gray is a guy who's copyright claimed me twice. He gave me two strikes and I almost got banned off of all of YouTube for it. But I served the time of 18 months or wherever until the claims expire and, and the strikes expire. And, and now I'm all good. And I only react to people who are cool with it. Uh, but but that, was, that was something that he was allowed to do. And I've never chewed him out for that. This, however, seems to be crossing a line of okay copyright claims into not okay copyright claims. Is that copyright why you don't claiming react to CGP definite Gray? fair use. No. And I didn't even know he was like uh, this litigious about... Uh, copy strikes. I didn't even know he was like that. I just haven't really ever, uh, you know, sometimes I just dodge a bullet, you know what I mean? It, it was one of those instances where I had uh, dodged a bullet. And Aiden Ross himself, I think, is aware of that, which is why he's only targeting people that are his ops and not very legitimate claims to copyright that he feels like is infringing on the content he has created. And you have to recognize, YouTubers abide by a very homey system, a very, a very handshake system. Normally, if you film anything, everybody needs to sign a release form. There's a certain set of processes that happen to be able to ensure that whoever is creating this content owns it outright and they cannot have it get taken down at all. And I promise you that most YouTubers, pretty much all streamers, and definitely Aiden Ross do not do that, which is what Hassan was talking about here on his stream. He's not sending release forms before having people appear on his fucking streams. So, hey, Aiden. Have fun with that. I will literally personally pay the legal fees of other fucking Instagram models and people who now hate Aiden Ross who have appeared on his stream to sue him for every fucking dime he has if he keeps this dumb shit up, okay? This is Hassan threatening to sue Aiden. I, I think realistically, if you don't sign a release form, you could have the content taken down. Maybe if they don't take it down, you could get to a lawsuit. Uh, and Aiden's response to this, okay, this I find this really funny. Someone runs this Aiden update account and, and they make little graphics for Aiden. I don't know if Aiden pays them. I'm pretty sure he doesn't. But but if he does, that's isn't that that's it's like his own press release. It's like a PR team. If a song if someone wants to go, I didn't even see this. Someone wants to go ban for ban. I gladly welcome that. My legal team is undefeated, bitch. Isn't it fucking depressing that the legal system is based off who can go banned for banned harder? I think that's pathetic. I think it should be the person who's like in the right, you know, on the side of like truth and justice and not the one who pays for the lawyers who are like the most good Weasley ratty or whatever. I, I, I just thought this whole tweet was kind of fucking depressing. Uh, so anyway, that's that's what Aiden Ross said on stream. Not exactly what he said with his actions, however. 
because there's also some evidence of Aiden doing the exact thing that he is claiming for. And here is a clip of Hassan finding that exact information out because this was a live stream Hassan did that Aiden Ross uploaded on his channel. Oh, that's false information. It was soda popping. This is what happens when you get all your info from LSF, buddy. Yeah, I'm wearing also. This is my VOD that he appeared on. I'm the one who set up this stream, by the way. I called Aiden Ross. I said, come hang out and you can hang out with Hassan and all of us and we can go shopping. And then I left because he. That part is true, though. He took like freaking four hours, but he showed up and this was on Hassan's stream. I was literally there like an hour before this. Miss Info, you said it was yours. I thought it was mine. And then we realized it was soda popping. We, we did it for soda popping, I think. And he uploaded it on his channel and then also added all of his socials to the bottom of it. Which okay. is as bad of of uh, any lifting of copyright material as you, you can get, right? Like he just outright uploaded the entire stream. Now, I don't give a shit. I don't think Hassan should strike, and he said himself that he wouldn't strike for this. But the fact that Aiden Ross feels comfortable striking other people for the exact thing he himself does is wild. And then he's also comfortable claiming when it's just bits and pieces of his stream in longer video essays. But I don't think Aiden Ross is as tough as his band for band persona that he gives off on stream because he buckled. Aiden Ross folded thanks to everyone who helped raise awareness on the situation from bragging about stealing 8K from me to quietly folding behind the scenes. These last few days have been a riot video coming soon and that's in response to Team YouTube saying, checked in on this. It looks like the claim has been closed by the content owner. And then this is another YouTube creator. It looks like YouTube's cracking down on Aiden Ross's copyright abuse. Good news, your copyright video was released. Uh, and then here's another creator, Narcolept, saying, it turns out a lot of uh, public bash, uh, backlash has made Thumb Media, the people Aiden Ross hired, uh, reverse their claims. Uh, good news, both your videos have been uh, uh, released and you are now able to make revenue on it. With me too, by the way. So it, it looks like he just totally buckled. It didn't seem like he wanted to fight this battle. And I think that's good. I am overall happy with that decision by Aiden Ross but it doesn't exactly feel like he is done because he also said this, another graphics package, never another gra breaking news, by the way. The war is not over yet. Aiden has a few tricks up his sleeve and is now allegedly planning on suing Hassan for defamation of character. This is so funny because like, I'm completely oblivious to this shit. Like I don't see any of this. I'm, this is the first time I'm finding out about this. Blush emoji. I got the Jew crew by my side. You're finished, buddy. Aiden Ross on Hassan's recent claims about Okay, him, what the which, fuck? I don't know. That's an ominous threat. Here is a less uh, uh, ominous threat and a much more direct one from one <clears throat> of his friends. Um, yo. Kickstreamer Cuffum threatened to kill Hassan. I swear to God, we gonna purge your ass, Hassan. We gonna kill you, boss. Now, I put XQC's reaction in this because I think his words were really wise here and I'll just let it play. Uh, yo. Yeah, don't, don't do that, man. <laughs> <laughs> so true. So true. And God, he's so, he's, he's wise. He's wise well beyond his years, dude. Like, a lot of people say XUC is a gremlin, a goblin, a toenail eater, whatever. But honestly, he's also wise. He's so fucking wise, dude. You don't learn that at school.